Hi, how's it going everybody? Today I'd like to talk about another great open source project. Now, have you ever seen these Bluetooth connected scales and thought, well, I don't really want to use one of these because I probably have to use some nasty proprietary app that uploads all your information to the cloud. Well, what I'm going to show you is to solve that problem. Um, another cool thing about um, these scales, the ones with a digital LED display, it's hard to get that in focus, is um, if you've got poor eyesight, these are great, because on a traditional scale, I usually have to crouch down in order to read my weight. Um, but on these, I can read that clearly, just standing up. So even if I don't connect it to anything by Bluetooth, I still prefer a scale with an LED display at least. And this is a Mi Body Composition Scale version 2. It's um, by Xiaomi. All right. So the application is an Android application. It's called OpenScale. You can get it for um, on FDroid as well. So if you've de-Google filed your phone, you can still get this app. Um, and it's on Google Play. And I think you can grab the APK just from the... Um, from GitHub here. Um, yeah, so it will grab your weight and um, calculate metrics such as body mass index and all that based on um, over time using calculations that, you know, you give it your, your age and your height and it will make calculations like that for you. All right, let's have a look at the app now. As you can see here, it tracks all sorts of things. Your body mass index, body water, muscle, body fat, uh, metabolism rate, daily en energy expenditure. And it has nice graphs and everything. You can change the time range and all that. You um, can go to chart settings here and change what you want to see. So I could add... Uh, muscle to that some metrics take a while to start tracking because it needs like you know some seed data to make those calculations I haven't been using the this app for that long so you know i only got the scale a few weeks ago and there's even a table view over here you can make uh modifications and edit settings if they're wrong or delete them if you accidentally weighed yourself twice in the same day um, sometimes there's some sync issues with the bluetooth i found the best way to get it to pick up the data is to hop on the scale well first you disconnect it from the bluetooth hitting the bluetooth button then you hop on the scale you weigh yourself while well, you're still standing on the scale then you hit the Bluetooth button there and then it will connect to the device and it will usually pick up the weight and all the metrics on the scale. Right here in settings um, there is the ability to set up multiple users so because each user will have you know their own height and age. Um, you can add another measurements too to make it uh, more accurate such as your waist and chest and you know all that sort of thing. And you can schedule backups and stuff and you can even add reminders which is pretty cool the backups just uh, back up a sql light database so what i think would be really cool is if it could use the data from uh, you know gadget bridge so you can use your smart watch mine's a nice pine watch um, and i think it would be cool if you could use the data from gadget bridge your activity like your steps and also you know put all that data together to make more precise um, calculations and stuff and have that together in one dashboard that would be a really cool feature but unfortunately those apps don't work together it would be cool if there was a thing you could put on like your own server and it would you know consolidate all that information and that would be really cool. Anyways, um, that was just a cool open source project I wanted to show you guys. 
you know, sometimes it's um, really hard these days with the Internet of Things devices and smart homes for us privacy and open source folks um, because some of this stuff, you know, is quite cool, but we look at that and we say, well, I don't want to use it because it connects to the cloud and it's proprietary and the company that makes it's not transparent and, you know, sometimes we have to go without because it's against our principles to use them but sometimes there's cool ways we can still have these nice things and thanks to applications like open scale and um tinkerers and hackers who jailbreak things and create alternative firmwares for things and stuff so you know anyways um i might look into some more internet of things and smart home devices and find alternatives um for you guys um you know i might look into some lighting next uh anyways hope you have a good rest of your day thanks for watching see you later